In life, we are often met with problems that require unique or bizarre solutions. Sometimes, the ideas that are put into place seem crazy, but once all is said and done, actually ended up working better than expected. From a man who builds a levee around his entire house to protect from a flood, to soldiers in World War II building fake trees to keep an eye on enemy lines, here are five crazy ideas that ended up working out just fine. The Mississippi River is the second longest river in North America. Back in 2011, a combination of factors led to the most damaging and destructive flooding seen in decades. There were two primary factors that led to the floods. In April of that year, two major storm systems deposited a record amount of rainfall over the area. To make matters worse, this happened at the same time as the springtime snowmelt. These factors combined caused the river to swell to record levels. Thousands of square miles were inundated with water, both from the river overflowing and from intentionally diverting the stream to protect cities such as New Orleans. In Louisiana, the Morganza Spillway was opened for the first time in 37 years, flooding 4,600 square miles of rural land. In the state of Mississippi, one resident decided he would take his stand against nature. To protect his property from the flooding, he built a large levee around his home. It's unknown how long before the flooding he built it, but surely many must have thought he was crazy. However, when the floodwaters rose, he had the last laugh. A picture taken from a helicopter shows that the levee actually worked perfectly and protected his home from flooding. In the end, the 2011 Mississippi River floods were among the largest and most damaging to occur in the United States in the past hundred years. In total, over $2 billion of damage was done, and rebuilding took many years. Back in 2014, engineers in China were met with an interesting problem, and one that did not have a simple solution. In the city of Wuhan lies the Wuhan Guangzhou High Speed Railway. It first opened in 2009 and has since transported roughly 500 million passengers. It travels at an average speed of 194 miles per hour, or 313 kilometers per hour in non-stop service. In 2014, engineers were building a new overpass in Wuhan City. The only problem was, it needed to pass right over this high-speed railway. Typically, the most obvious solution would be to shut down the railway to allow the bridge to be built. But officials felt that keeping the line running was far too important, so they needed another solution. Finally, the decision was made to build the overpass next to the railway and then rotate it 90 degrees into place, all while the high-speed rail continued to operate. It was an ambition and possibly a crazy idea, but one that went off without a hitch. Once completed, the section weighed in at around 17,000 tons and measured approximately 840 feet or 256 meters long. When it came time to move it, the structure needed to be rotated 106 degrees and raised 15 meters high. In the end, the whole process only took 90 minutes. To many, it was an idea that seemed crazy, and maybe it was, but in the end, it spoke volumes to the capabilities of modern engineering. During times of war, each side scrambles to come up with ways to outsmart their enemy. Back in World War I, both sides needed to keep a constant eye on the enemy line for any movement. With both sides paying close attention, this was not an easy task. Anybody who made themselves visible for too long would likely have been shot. In an effort to come up with a solution to this problem, the French began to disguise observation posts as trees. As crazy as it sounds, it actually worked pretty well. So much so that the British and even the Germans later started doing it as well. 
Due to how much watch was kept on enemy lines, erecting a new fake tree where one never existed before would have been impossible as it would have drawn too much attention. The solution was to use existing dead trees that had been damaged or partially destroyed by bombs. The first step was to take pictures of the trees to be studied and measured. Then, a hollow steel replica was made. At night, the real tree was cut down and replaced with a fake one, with the enemy unable to spot the difference. The trees were a surprising success, with none ever being detected by the enemy. It was an idea that seemed too silly to be true, but ended up being a very valuable asset to both sides of the war. The city of Los Angeles has become home to tens of millions of people. It is one of the most famous places in the world, and one that is known for its hot and dry weather. An unfortunate fact for the city is that far more people live there than the local water supply can support. So, much of the water the city relies on comes from hundreds of miles away. The water is mostly transported using a system of canals, tunnels, and pipelines. Once it's in the city, it needs to be stored, and that's where reservoirs come into play. In 2007, the Department of Water and Power announced that two reservoirs near downtown Los Angeles, Silver Lake and Ivanhoe, had become contaminated with high levels of bromate, a cancer-causing chemical. Both reservoirs were immediately drained and then filled back up in May of 2008. Now here is where things start to get interesting. In order to protect against sunlight-fueled bromate forming in the water, 400,000 black and hollow plastic balls were dumped into the lake, a move that may seem a bit out of the ordinary. What the balls do is provide shade for the water, not only to prevent high levels of bromate, but to slow down the rate of evaporation. As I mentioned earlier, Los Angeles is known for being hot and dry, so the rate at which this reservoir evaporated was far too high. Thanks to the shade balls, the reduction in evaporation has led to an estimated savings of about 290 million gallons of water in one year. Since then, the balls have been used to cover more reservoirs in the state, with the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power dumping 96 million of them in their largest reservoir. Back in 2005, the internet was simply a different place. Social media was in its infancy stages, and new websites were popping up all over the place. A college student from England decided to capitalize on this opportunity and developed a website called the Million Dollar Homepage. The idea was pretty simple. The website would only have one page, and that one page would have a 1000 by 1000 pixel grid. Each of these pixels would then be offered for sale for one dollar. If all of them were sold, he would make a million bucks. The idea may have seemed too simple or crazy for the time, but it's for those exact reasons it ended up working out. The idea quickly became a viral hit, whatever that meant for the time. Articles came out about it, and as more and more people searched for it, more and more pixels began to sell. Finally, in January of 2006, the final 1,000 pixels were put up for auction and sold, bringing the total revenue up to $1,037,100. Today, the website is still up and running in its original form, seemingly unedited or changed since it was all sold back in 2006, possibly even still driving some traffic to those who paid to be featured on it. The creator has since gone on to build a software company that was valued at over $1 billion in 2019. Life is full of difficult problems and even unique opportunities. Sometimes, the solution or idea you come up with that seems the craziest may actually end up being the best one. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.